This is the final iteration of the Scotch. Uh, the Scotch is a device for uncoupling the magnetic couplings that I've been working on. As you can see, it has a blade at the top which is profiled to sit behind the wheel flange uh, in the same way that a scotch block sits under the tread of the wheel and this effectively breaks the uh, vehicle allowing the loco to pull away from it uh, and the rest of it is a mechanism to make this blade and this scotch rise and fall uh, behind the rail. Uh, the blade travels or rises up and down inside this square carrier and is operated by this cam, this 3D printed cam, and you can see at three o'clock and nine o'clock there are detents and these uh, operate a micro switch there which indexes the cam so it stops either up or down like that down and up and there is another micro switch behind it with a single detent in the down position and that second micro switch uh, behind is there for an indicator light uh, which will come on when the scotch is either in operation or when it's up. The light will only go off when the scotch is fully down. So you can see it's a very simple mechanism. Driving it we have the ubiquitous uh, N20 gear motor available very cheaply from China. This particular one is in fact it's a 12 volt 175 rpm uh, motor which would be far far too fast but I'm just running it on one and a half volts for convenience. It was the first one I had to hand. You can of course actually use any motor you want on this um, but really 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 you want uh, you're, you should be looking at about a, a 30 rpm max, ideally a bit less, because you want a nice slow operating speed. Uh, you don't want these things happening too quickly. Um, the whole thing uh, consists basically of a motor mount, uh, a cam, and then uh, a top assembly which has the baseboard mounting bracket there, and your slider housing there, your blade housing. So there's just four parts to it and they they clip together. It's all printed in PLA, uh, which is a, a decent material for this. It's not glued together or anything. Um, the problem for me, of course, is it takes about four hours of printing to uh, produce this, so I can't produce these for sale. Uh, if anyone's got any bright ideas, assuming anybody would want something like this, um, then uh, one could perhaps do something. Um, the other interesting thing, of course, uh, this would be quite capable of powering points use as a point motor, or signals, or uh, indeed any scenic element that needed to move up or down, or uh, move in any, any way. It, it would be quite possible to make cams of different shapes with different detents uh, to do all sorts of different interesting things. So it's quite a, a nice useful uh, and very simple device. So that's the Scotch.